Hey everyone, the name is Bernie and I'm a super extrovert. And yesterday when I was having a party with my 100 friends and we were snorting cocaine, I had this great idea. I was gonna make this video and I was gonna make this video about extroversion. I was gonna tell people what extroversion really is. Okay, so when you're an extrovert, right? Then it's really important that you're fast paced. Like extroverts don't like it slow. If you take a long time to say something, we get bored. We get bored more quickly than most people. Actually, we like to always have something to do. And it's really annoying when people are quiet and when people take a long time to say something or when they beat around the bush. I don't understand why people do that. Why do you have to take such a long road to say something? Why can you not say something as swiftly as possible in as few words as possible as quickly as possible? I just don't get it. Anyways, the way I see extrovert, we mark and we dominate everything in one particular area. Openness to experience. We consume knowledge faster than anyone else around us. We learn faster, we get things faster, we understand the point of a discussion before it's even said. As soon as somebody starts talking, we can jump, connect dots, figure out where things are going. We just we just have this ability to absorb and understand patterns and make connections instantly, almost near instantly. We can just get it, we can just figure it out and take it from there. And that's why a lot of time in discussions it's like I stop and then I change argument and I move on to a new topic immediately and people don't get it. Why did I switch topic? Why didn't I finish out what I was going to say? Well to me it was obvious what I was going to say, people just weren't paying attention. Often it's, uh, I have this tendency to want to compete with people. I like to push things through. Honestly, I like to see how far I can push people. I test people sometimes, you know, it's like this ability to, you know, figure out how people work and to just see what they're doing. And I can study their behavior and their actions and I can always do it better. I am always able to do things better than everyone else. It's just like I see how they do it and then I can copy it and then I can do it better than they did it. I can do it faster, I can do it better and I can do it more neatly, honestly. Uh, there was this guy who was gonna teach me, you know, how to uh, skate and honestly I was better better at skating at him. I've never done it before. I tried it for the first time and I was just a master. And it's really crazy how it goes. Like extroverts we just have this ability. Yeah, okay. Adventurousness. We have it. Introverts don't. Extroverts we like adventures. If somebody says let's go up parachuting let's go skydiving let's go climb that mountain let's go up that tree you know let's try that drug I'm there I'm doing it I'm in <laughs> you don't have to convince me I don't understand why people are so skeptical all the time whenever I have an idea it's like people are like oh that's not possible blah 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 but it's possible obviously I saw it and I read about it so obviously it's true <laughs> it was on the internet so it's true. It's 100% true. We can do it. I don't. People are just weird. People are just scared. You know, that's just the thing. You know, I, I'm brave. I, I push limits. I try new things. Where most people are a bit more cautious. They're a bit like, oh, I don't know. I like to try new things, and I'm not scared to try new things. You know. Honestly, uh, I like people. I, I like most people I meet. Uh, I have a positive impression of most people. You know, I can make fun of people sometimes and I can pick on them, but it's just in good fun, you know. Honestly, most of the time I just, uh, it's like I just feel connected to people. I know them instantly. As soon as I see them, I'm like, oh, that's that guy. Oh, that's a Pete. Oh, that's a Bernie. I know these things. I know people. It's like I know how they think. I know how they work. And I can instantly bond with anyone. I can chat up a conversation with a nerd about uh, like Dungeons and Dragons. And then to the next minute, I can talk about rocket uh, science and then about the sports. Honestly, I know a little bit about everything. I think I know basically anything because I talk to people and I just get things and I understand things and I listen and then I figure it out and then yeah, the way I see it I have no boundaries, I can do anything, I can be any personnel type, I can act and do anything I want. I don't feel limited in the way people know. Okay, take number 50, this is Steve, I'm a super introvert. Today I want to talk about what it means to be introverted and uh, how introverts think and how we work and you know uh, basically anything related to introversion there are honestly a lot of uh, misconceptions and stereotypes about introverts online uh, like most memes are just dead wrong I just don't really relate to anything I see online honestly 
uh, I was reading an article recently and I was just stunned by how wrong most content is on introversion. The way I see it, introversion can be broken down to about six components and I have bought all of them. First, uh, we want things to be perfect. We want things to be done right. I don't like making mistakes. I don't like stuttering. I don't like uh, messing things up. I want things to be done in a certain way with a certain method. It's important to me that people stick to this method and that people do things the way they said they would. It's really annoying to me when people don't read the instructions before they do something. I see so many people just rush into something and they don't even question what they are doing. They don't even seem to think critically about anything that's happening around them. Oh, Jesus. Uh, not that I believe in God or anything. I been thinking about making this video for about five years now and uh, I think uh, to me it was important that I had a good idea about it before I did it I didn't just want to ramble or talk about something I didn't get I hate people who talk about things they don't even know or understand <sighs> It's true that uh, as an introvert, I'm a bit more sensitive than most people. Somebody said something to me yesterday. Uh, they said that my shirt was a bit spotty and uh, yeah, it just ripped up so much from my past. Uh, like uh, it connects to my upbringing. Like people always picked on me, you know, they were always like pointing out things that were wrong with me. And I, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. I feel like people are always so against me. Uh, like uh, most people, they're just trying to manipulate you or use you or control you in some way. You know, they're trying to push themselves on you. They're bullying you. They're they're trying to look down on you or like they're trying to beat you. They're trying to win. Always, people just want to win. They. People just don't care anymore, you know, that's, uh, that's very hard. I don't like to talk if I don't have anything to say and I don't have a problem with silences I don't understand why people call silences awkward silences are gold silences are where your mind has a chance to finally take a breath you know why are we so against breathing nowadays why do people just have to uh, you know push through without it Control is important to me. I want a strategy. I want a plan. I'm not going to do it unless there is a plan. I, honestly, I'm not going to do it. When people throw out like this random ideas around me, it's so annoying because they're so excited and so eager to do it. But the way I see it, like things need to be thought out. We can't just rush into something. Okay, we need a few years to make sure at least that we have the resources necessary, that we've gone through all the what ifs, that we've looked at all the potential problems, that we've planned around issues. It's just, it's not rocket science. It's like if you just jump into something you might end up making a horrible mistake for no reason or perhaps the idea you had it was not gonna work anyway so why was what was the rush why are we rushing to fail okay everyone that was my stereotypical portrayal of the super extrovert or the super introvert the stereotype it often extremizes all these traits and packs them into one particular type and uh, what happens is uh, most people are in between so most people in between they kind of feel misunderstood saying I'm not either of them <laughs> and that's why it's so hard to, to say whether you're an extrovert or an introvert. Thanks for watching this video and please like and share it with others that you think might relate to one of these two and if you want subscribe for more content in the future.